What's up, boys and girls? Old Uncle Two, back with you once again. Whew. Sheesh, just finished recording this video, and uh, it was a long request video because you guys, a bunch of you requested it on the tweet that I sh shouted out uh, at Sensei Tutum. Hey, what do you guys want to see me do analysis on? So I did kind of a higher level look and hit like 20 assets um you know some of you asked for like three or four charts so i only did the first um so yeah i did a bunch of looks and uh it's kind of an interesting market right now so go ahead and find your asset in there maybe i'll timestamp this if i have time but uh find your asset but let's look at some others because it's an interesting market right now it's, it's fun market so yeah uh and without further ado we'll get into the video but before we do just remember transform trading is live link in the description to sign up Check us out on Twitter at Transform Trading, of course, at Sensei Tutum, at Sensei Hove, you know, the whole team. So check us out. We had a great first week. It was amazing, and uh, it's never too late to sign up. So I hope to see you guys there. Toot out. Or actually, let's get into the video. <laughs> I got like 19 or 20 of you asking for charts, and a lot of you asked for more than one. So no one's getting more than one. You just wrote down the first one you asked for. Uh, there might even be a couple dupl duplicates in here because there was like a lot of ETH and, you know, things like that. But uh, yeah, I actually see I wrote it down twice. So maybe it's only like 18 charts. But I'm going to give you 18 charts today, boys and girls, starting with FTM. Uh, we're going to have to give you a high, sort of higher level look. But honestly, man, when I look at a chart, I kind of have my idea on it formulated in the first 30 seconds. I, I'm no joke. And, you know, I obviously fine tune, clean that up. Uh, but if I'm going to trade it, I'm going to know in the first 30 seconds and you should too. Anyway, let's hit FTM. Uh, since I don't know what the hell this is and I probably don't know what a lot of these are cause yeah, I don't not no offense. I'm not into the shitcoin world that much. And I've said this to you guys before. I don't mean offense by saying, saying shitcoin. It's just vernacular of the crypto world. Come on boys. Uh, all right, let's get it. FTM. So I'm sure this is something this probably in the DeFi space i would imagine um and it has done nothing but tank uh, well it had its it had you know i don't know if it if it debuted on binance but it had its run and it's been you know doing what the rest of crypto is doing but we found a nice low here that's always a good sign that it has found a nice low um let's see if there's any volume at this level I don't have my indicator set up. Okay. Ooh. And there's actually, you know, of course it's gotten lower, which is what you would expect. Ooh, change of character. You know, I like this. I, just looking out here, I like this. We formed a, v a very nice bottom. With that juicy divergence. I would say another pivot of divergence here. Um, solid volume off the low. We've come up, broken over this POC level. I would say it looks like change of character to me, boys and girls. Let's get down here and look at the lower degree and see where you can get in where you fit in. Mm-hmm. So this is juicy, man. I think, I think this is a good time to take all these random requests. I think this is a good time because what's going to happen is that I'm going to probably see some stuff that's real interesting. Um, so typically you would say, look, this looks like a five swing move, potentially blow off fifth. We are diverging, needs to retrace, you would think. We're diverging within here. So internal retracement to this wave to put in like this is a this little wick up here is like a B and I could zoom in and show you guys, but I bet you it is. Um, actually, just for the first chart, we'll go ahead and do that just so that we can I can establish that your boy knows what he's talking about. You see, see how this is, you know, overlapping waves looks like W, X, Y. Uh, this looks like a three wave down. So who knows? It's some complexity here, but you see how it's super impulsive. This wave and this wave look the same. Corrective, corrective. So yeah, I think that this will probably come back down. So now that we've established, when I say 
these things I know what I'm talking about some sort of beat up here this will mess about come back down test this low internal to this wave and continue on it could very well be one two one two and then whether this is another one two we're putting in especially another sideways this could get juicy of course there's an s p chart in here somewhere and we're gonna have to take full account of that before we really jump off any sort of super bullish ship so there's a very bullish option in here right if this does come down for this internal retracement stays internal it won't stay internal to this impulse but stays internal as in far as let's say it doesn't get external to that wave doesn't get external to this um could be quite bullish another it's just a series of one twos otherwise you could very well have a finished five wave move there's no overlap here with the proposed one here because this is the sideways abc um it does overlap a bit with the b but doesn't matter because it doesn't overlap with the one we don't care about the the two right uh there's nothing in the rules about that or guidelines um contextually that doesn't really fit as a c wave up to the upside so you could get down external of this maybe a two wave two b into here so i do think that there's another long to be had and that those are the ones you really like like because let's just say they're the more predictable ones the more reliable ones uh you know trying to jump in here and ride this freaking freight train is tough to do um i would personally if i was trading it on the low time frame get down there on that like five minute look for that c down to that low area 250 uh 25 24 roughly 25 cents um and then see if you can't maybe potentially ride that on up but if it doesn't look like a flat of course that's going to be real tough because a flat ends in a c which is a impulse wave typically and a rather sharp one at that so it'll be a tough one for you to call but you could potentially trade that down here even breaking this i wouldn't say new lows incoming honestly i think that even if it finishes up here and comes external there that's another b wave and that's your more reliable play but this is looking nice this is looking nice uh ETH. so <coughs> excuse me i have a cough button i don't know why i didn't hit it sorry boys it's that time of year um let's look at eth on and this is i'm just on a chart save where i don't have any work um so if anybody pays attention to the twitter which they seem to they would know that we made some nice money in this at transform trading this week um it took a couple days of a long so just i mean out at this level here uh i can tell you what the idea is everyone's looking at this, this is a fifth on the way up i don't know how other people are counting internally you know me keep it simple stupid or for me and for you guys keep it super simple the kiss methodology i see five dominant swings we're putting in the fifth um we're diverging strongly you know fifth ends here again not just like ftm this wouldn't be finishing in a spot that would be contextually a c wave right so then we can have a strong bias to long it down low down here you know whether it finishes where it's at you know here here whatever is it done now doesn't matter irrelevant to this look that we're taking now i can tell you that uh mecca from the tft team is like eth is like what he really trades i normally trade i trade eth a lot as well maybe more now that we're in this group since uh he's on it all the time but i'm you know i'm i'm a bitcoin sort of sort of guy usually bitcoin s p uh but you know ETH Bitcoin. I always check the two and whichever charts reading cleanly at the time I'll take. And a lot of times if, you know, if everything's the same, I will take it on ETH just because you can potentially get better moves on it. Um, I'm on the wrong chart. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, looking for this to finish up at some point when it does retrace as a B or a two, as anybody that watches these YouTube videos knows, I called the bottom in on ETH a long time ago saying this is a impulse off the low. Which, you know, to be honest with you, my when I, my first idea on this whole thing was that it was a three wave and I had this going down for another low, just like I do for Bitcoin. And then I looked at, I forgot about that. And I had posted an update and then looked at it on a blank chart. And, you know, I just feel like that, feel like that's going to hold, man. And, you know, nothing that I'm seeing here is changing my mind, really. Um... Not particularly. So everything's working out here with that bottom call, uh, but we will be retracing relatively soon, I do believe, unless this you know market's going to go nutty. Uh, AVAX is the next one. Let's check it out. AVAX. 
Um, I know what this one is, but I don't know where you would really have to just go to Binance. So this doesn't look nearly as like a motive as ETH, but I don't know where this is on the coin market, like market cap. Uh, but what I do know is same, same ETH as far as looks like an impulse in play with the fifth wave whenever it finishes. Could be one, two, could be only on the third of the fifth, maybe fourth to come, fifth, up, fifth of the fifth up to here, wherever it may be. Not interested in necessarily showing any sort of projections at the moment. I mean, we're doing Elliott Wave here, guys. Just draw your channels, draw your FIB levels. I'll help you out just a bit. Where'd my music go? I have no snare on my headphones. There they go. I'll be checking the six, this six one in here for sure. Yeah, that's a super important level. Pivot, 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 pivot in the area, pivot, pivot. Yeah, the 618 is pretty important. So, yeah, that's a nice, perfect spot. Um, let's just call it uh, 2030, 2040. Call it 2030, 2040 uh, on AVAX before we do retrace. it. Look Again, same thing, ETH, like I said, even FTM looks motive not corrective not contextually a place for a c so when it does retrace assuming it looks like it's a nice corrective long opportunity off of that and if you want to short the high that's up to you um depends on how you do things all right gold and silver this guy asked for we'll give him gold all right so gold this is my take. Um, I was actually meaning to <laughs> looking at this yesterday to because transform trading is live, boys and girls. Forgot to tell you at the beginning. Probably going to put something in the beginning of this video so that you do see that first. But uh, again, uh, I was, you know, populating our discord with my thoughts because I've been populating a discord with thoughts for years and have sort of a, let's say, a encyclopedia built up that I can reference from the next chart, the next chart, the next chart. Well, that's all got to start over right so i was gonna post this update to the guys and got sidetracked probably with ethereum trade that went quite well uh or probably wasn't going the best last night but it was a bit of a roller coaster again but it worked out great as you might see if you check out any of the tft team on uh twitter or transform at transform trading um but yeah i was saw this potential ending diagonal lining up and it was down internal to here and i didn't i didn't post it didn't post it in time, but I saw it eyeing up and, you know, your boy here stacks gold, of course. I like the physical variety. I've also got the virtual, but I'm full up on this, so I, didn't, I wasn't adding here. But uh, I was tempted, actually tempted today. I didn't even see this until right before I opened this chart, right before this video. I was tempted today to stop off at the gold store. I even had cash with me. Oh, well. Um... <clears throat> There's always there's always another time, and this is nothing's guaranteed. But this is my count: W X Y finishing up. Uh, I think Hove and the Transform Trading YouTube did a video, and I could have sworn the thumbnail said uh, generational uh, opportunity, generational bottom. And yeah, I think that that's likely could be the case. Um, I don't know about you know goals never going down for the rest of your life kind of deal. I don't know where he's at with that. Um, but this is nice. This is real, real nice. Right on that fifty. in there yeah and this is finishing up let's see mad divergence perfect diagonal it's already almost you know it's supposed to swiftly retrace the length of this of this ending diagonal which is i guess i have it a b c w x a b c y 
to ABC, ABC. So yeah, so it's like the whole fucking thing. So if this idea is right, it's a little wonky, but and I do think it probably is. Um, it should swiftly, you know, not that it's not going to retrace within here. Especially this is not crypto. This is um, a real asset. It's going. You would expect it's going to need to retrace within, but it should pretty quickly get to the, you know, up here to eighteen, break eighteen hundred. So. Yeah, Mega Bull on Gold. Have been Mega Bull on Gold. If you ever pay attention to my thoughts, you guys know I'm a Mega. In this area, I've been calling for it. You know, I'm pretty sure the last time I logged was actually here. Um, so, haven't added since. But, we like gold. Looking great. So, I'm sure silver's the same, just because that's so exciting. Should I just peek at silver? Oh, look at this. The last chart I posted for you guys. I mean, I have not touched this in like months. I don't see any reason to change any ideas here. This is a two wave right there, right? So pivot question mark. Oh yeah, we pivoted. When your boy's got it, he's got it. All right, uh, let's go on to the next uh, asset here. Uh, Ethereum again. So that's I said we had some repeats. Bitcoin, of course. Just go to. We'll just open up a blank chart here so that doesn't overlap this very well could be impulsive off this low as you know the idea that i've been looking at is that we would form another lower low what's crazy is we're diverging a bit from the es man that's that's actually kind of oh let's let's show that uh that's actually kind of sweet three hour Six hour. I mean, we're diverging big time. Just pop this on the daily. We're going to look at this chart in a minute. Um, so today was green, but I mean, it's hovering at the lows. It's not engulfing, really. No, it kind of is. See, so yesterday that was super red on the ES was super green on Bitcoin, man. That's that's divergence we have not seen in a couple freaking years. Have we seen this divergence in years? I mean, it's only one day, but I can't remember the last time that there was such a stark difference in the day. It's a good sign, man, for Bitcoin. Um, anyway. Uh, I've been saying the low could be in on this, but that's not the primary expectation. Uh, the primary expectation is that uh, this is either a two. Uh, this is a two wave in play, so this could even be a. This does have contextual potential to be a C. Weird, weird C. Probably not. Probably would want to go up, down, and up in three to form a two. Um. For the primary expectation or bottom is in of course and then it's two down or three down and then away we go um i think i've been saying for a long time that you know if we break let's just make it safe say we if we get to 23k twenty-three. am i gonna flip at 23k we're gonna have to we'll talk about it later but i i could very well flip my whole opinion on 23k um, of course, you know, a lot of people are looking for this to be a C wave that would finish up here at like 25. I'm not in that camp by any means. But it has, you know, some contextual merit to it. Um, I mean, this is five finishing here, so it's going to go down for, a, then it would have to, so say it's one of C down, you know, I don't think so. I don't know. It could very well be. But my, my bias, I mean, my idea would, if we get external to, let's say this, yeah, what is that? Tw oh, that is 25. Okay. If we break this area, it's where this can no longer be a two of C, um, I might flip 
even though it could easily be a C up. We'll, we'll have to address it later. My ideas aren't changing, but this looks nice. Um, same thing, you know, same, same with ETH is that with this forming five waves here now, I do believe that while there is some contextual evidence that this could be a C at this degree finishing right here uh, for like a one, two, one, two or something like that, or even like a one, two, three, could this be a four for a diagonal? Oh, I don't even think it could be because, well, this would have to be, this five would have to be shorter. Just thinking if for that diagonal idea, it's kind of going out of the water. It'd be an ugly one. So that might not be, which, which means if the if the expectation of a newer of a lower low is still the primary, and it is, it's the diagonal is kind of getting weaker, meaning deeper is more likely. Um, so we'll have to stay tuned on this one. But I do believe with this five wave here, the most likely scenario is that we would be corrective just like ETH, and then up again. That seems to be the best potential scenario um because the contextual evidence while there is some isn't super strong for a c here um and there's almost none on eth as we showed um okay so that's bitcoin uh s p i don't want to talk about this stuff too long because of course we do our, our market outlook in a couple days uh but it's basically we'll just leave it at this it's done exactly what we have been saying it would do in the market outlook so it's right now it's you know holding up on support um you know looks impulsive down into that level could be an a here but you know and i do find it hard to believe that if we break through this level that it's not just gonna really shit can and that you know this stuff is gonna hold up well you know that could give us the opportunity for our two slash b on these alts but uh yeah this will be mega so we'll talk about this on sunday i'll try to record on after open unless hope does the outlook this week um but yeah maybe you have some some asia open data to talk about as well um okay let's go moving on to soul i think some of the boys are trading this Tom Brady, FTX. Yeah, I saw actually somebody mentioning they missed a long. They said from the four. I don't think this is a four. I think this is a completed impulse to this level. This is maybe a flat to here. This is we're in the third of what might be a C. If I was long, I'd want to be out here. Personally, readdress later. You break out, then we're on to some. Then we're really onto something, but I mean, looking at the looking at the context of this wave relationship to this wave, this looks like a one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll have similar magnitude waves. Could be one, two, one, two. Of course, finishes there. Um, more likely, zigzag. Always. Um, yeah. But if we shoot right through here, then then long long it is Bull, bulls have the have the run um all right that's so so crypto's looking pretty juicy maybe the, maybe it's maybe that's why i got so much uh response on this one not because i did anything good in my last request video but because it's just the markets are more interesting this week how about that um i don't know what this is rs s3 looks like i've got some foreign stocks and i've got crypto Oh, it's late. Uh, I'm just going to assume ooh, assume with my audience. This looks like really thinly traded. Um, so it's not for me, period. But that looks like. I see that. I see the same thing everybody else sees. I don't, you know, I'm bad at triangles. I don't. I'm as honest with you guys as I can be. 
and I'm bad at triangles. That looks like a triangle. But, you know, I, as much as I'm not a mega fan of playing triangles, at least not until they do certain things that I want to see them do, uh, you know, the ones that have this where, you know, marginally lower, uh, higher low, marginally higher low, almost almost a flat bottom, and then the tops are way weaker. You know, that you see them break up, but it's just doesn't inspire confidence. I feel like this one's breaking up just based on the way things look here, which so could be a nice play. Worth, if you like, hey, listen, if you like to gamble, it's a decent gamble. A little better than a coin. I'll give you better odds than a coin flip. But it's pretty close to a coin flip. Maybe a little better than playing the outside on uh, roulette. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's gonna blow. It's gonna blow out. It's gonna pop either way, one way or another. I do think to the upside, but uh, you know, could go either way. Um, interesting chart there, but it looks super thinly traded. So maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it looks really thin. Could be easy to get. Yeah. This one's not for me. I would personally, I'm not going to trade that. Um, CWH. Okay, I don't see a crypto. CWH, that's what I wrote down. Maybe I wrote the wrong camping world. Or was it carry wealth? I'm guessing it's not the OTC. Camping world, let's go. All right. This is your typical single stock, looking fairly thin. really impulsive doesn't it I don't like it I don't like it from any perspective to be honest just because <clears throat> could go either way come on it looks very impulsive three wave Yeah, I mean, basically, if you're long, if you longed it like around open, get out, you know, give yourself this much room, get out in validation. Yeah, sure, sure, I could take it for a long, but you know, I could easily see it seeking itself further down. I don't see a high quality trade here. Um, I don't know anything about the stock. I'm not, you know, camping is cool. I mean, if your whole, I mean, either way, it does, I mean, is, I would say that this is like putting in a side, so either way, if you're, if you're more of a longer term uh, perspective and not just like a trader like me, then, uh, yeah, I, I like, I like, I like the look of it for sure for like a longer, longer term swing, maybe grab and hold, um, cause you could easily see this, you know, whether you need to resolve to the downside or not. Um, you know, easily can see this going to, um, let's say, be a little more conservative. Yeah, so confluence here, I mean, I could easily see this going to 60 bucks, easily. So, when it's already, it's at 25 now going to 60. I don't care, I don't care if you're a crypto guy or not, you, you'll take 3x. Um, all right, moving on. CHW US oil. And the guy said this should be a challenge. Okay. Hmm. 
it's not that challenging, dude. I mean, clear impulse, sideways. This shit's gonna rip. This shit's gonna rip. Potato chip. I'd love to see it come down here to this 50, get into all this support area. Oh, this chart doesn't have volume on it. Whatever. Um, yeah, I'd love to see it come down further, but uh, surely it doesn't have to. Surely doesn't have to. This could, the bottom could be in here. Mm hmm. There's your algo money. Reaction, reaction. Yeah, this is your algo money, but that's not to say there won't be algo money there, too. I like it better there, but this is a decent spot to potentially go long on your whatever, whatever you like on your oil stonks. just get down here for the six hour quickly I mean because this does look zigzag ish to me putting in a zigzag here resolve lower to that you know this area here that I like but you know long term not and not you know not so long but you know in the not so distant future it's looking super I mean unfortunately Let's just say it gets. Let's just say it gets to there. I mean, conservative target at that point is uh, you know super conservative down one fifty a barrel, two hundred a barrel. Poof, sheesh. Hope no one's driving at that point. When's the last time we've been at those prices? Uh, let's see. Oh eight, sweet. <laughs> That's what I like to see. All right, so there's oil. Um, yay. Uh, all right, man, we're like halfway through here. Link. <laughs> Damn. I say that because this is this is a bag of old toots. It's like, my, how the mighty have fallen. But I'm seeing a lot of uh, FTM in here. Right, what was that first one? Yeah, FTM. It looks a lot like FTM. So I'm not going to waste my breath. I'm going to say, although this would either have to be a three finishing here. But, you know, Link's always a little shitty to count, man. Even though it's fairly liquid. Um, I would say you're finishing three here for five to sort of with that whole idea with FTM where we were finishing five at some point to come down potentially and put in a nice two slash B in or, you know, it keeps moving up. But basically look at everything I said for FTM and you can almost copy paste that into this chart. It looks a lot like FTM. That first chart I did. Um, all right. Next one. Mara. Mara. Yeah, I don't know if this stuff, when, you're, when you guys are sending me this stuff, I don't know if it's a stock or a crypto. I got to, like, look at the tickers for a second. Um, yeah, I see why you sent it. It's kind of ugly, man. But I see why you sent it. Looks better on log. Still ugly. Looks clean as a whistle on log. <laughs> I mean, this clearly doesn't look like an impulsive wave, but that's not necessarily important. As important that that's like perfect looking zigzag. Uh, didn't quite overlap, but if it was even at that depth, I'd never call that a four um, projected as. And then we take out, and that was not including the fact that this is a clear impulse. One, two, three down here, three up there. So it looks unresolved to the downside. Looks like we're putting some complexity. One, two, three. This is nice. This is actually really fucking nice. I like this. Let's go ahead and add some alerts here. Yeah, I like this. Whoever sent me this, fucking nice. I like it. 
but I like it to be resolved down here. So you got time, which is why I really like it instead of showing me late. Uh, yeah, sweet. Nice. Whoever gave me the Mara, fucking kudos. All right. Um, e and S USDT. I mean, that's kind of how I got this sweet ETH trade I was on this week. I was looking at Bitcoin like, mm, like literally looking at the chart, like thinking long. Mm, I don't know, because I'm usually looking Bitcoin. And then my boy Mecca so it shows just briefly a quick little chart with some confluences on it. I was like, so I did up my own work on ETH and I love this. I'm taking it within five minutes. I was long. It was pretty sweet. Um, anyway, so yeah, sort of same thing here. So if you're not in the group, you need to join Transform Trading, my dude. Uh, show setups like this, make everybody money. We'll show you some just as good or better. Um, all right. E-N-S. Ethereum name service. Oh, I've heard of this project. a tricky kind of wave in here but uh yeah bit toppy bit lazy bit exhausted um not quite as pretty as either bitcoin um not terrible even if it comes up and makes another high just like everything else it's gonna probably need to retrace at least probably back to this like 11 45 ish area um 1190 to 1145 I don't know I don't love it I'd have to see what it does I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time on it we got so many charts you know if you're just trading man there's better charts to look at if you're a hodler yeah it's not terrible you know wait for a retrace and you, you have time for a retrace if you want to add to a hodl position kind of thing but uh you know doesn't look like the best chart to trade looks you know decent liquidity so new though Anyway, next one. That was ENS Doge. That one must be going shit bonkers because of Elon. Did Elon start this run? Is that why crypto is diverging from the S&P? Because Elon's tweets. We know those are like Fed dollars. They don't last that long. So remember what I was talking about? If it broke out of the base trend channel on a couple charts ago? Yeah, this one did that. And that base trend really gets drawn like this because that's a sideways. So this is going to continue to moon. Um, yeah. This is the market cap. Whatever. Here, let's, let's find the real doge. Same. Same shit. Um, yeah. This thing's gonna be at all time high. <laughs> this thing's going all time high, I think. Yeah, uh, this three is probably not done. If you get lucky enough, or to come back and do a retest on this base ch channel here, you're just looking for an excuse to get long on this, basically. Whatever the excuse might be, find your excuse and do it. This looks bullish as shit. Now, of course, I've seen this chart. We've all seen this chart literally do exactly this and then shit can. So, looking for an example. Don't see one, but we've all seen it. If you've been around a crypto, you've seen it. Could easily be a fake out. Don't go sell the freaking farm, but this thing looks like it's going all-time high. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right, Lulu. I know that one. Kinda looks like shit. I don't even know what I really think of that company. Not that I care about that when I'm looking at stocks, cause you know, just like, <laughs> just like the reason I don't consider the economy. I'm not an economist. I'm not a fundamental analysis. I do technical analysis. I mean, front run the 50. 
Mm, actually, maybe TTT to the tick. That looks like... Oh, that could be some sort of sneaky Dayak, huh? Hmm. No, it's not a Dayak, it's, it's an ugly wave. So yeah, I'd say you want to call that corrective. So, bias would be that this is going to seek another low. For sure. For sure, that's the bias. Doesn't mean it is, because you do have three completed to that level. But this looks more like an X, you know, so. At least. At least get through that 50. I'm going to say seek this 618. Um, if it's bullish, might not be bullish. Could be worse, you know. Three. That's an impulse. It's just weird how it kind of ended on three waves up here. Either way, I'd be looking for... Yeah. See if this comes down in another three wave similar to this one into that 618. You could take a long on it. It's not terrible. It's not terrible at all, but... It's, it's actually been... Let's see. I don't want two day. Okay, it's been shitting. It's been taking like everybody else all year. I was gonna say, man, this thing looks strong relative to everything else, but nah, I was just on two day. Um, all right, this one. Did I get trolled on this one? What the hell is this, Twilio? No, I didn't. Oh, I did. Jesus, this thing looks like dog shit. <laughs> this thing looks awful. I would not. I don't know anything about it. I mean, if you're if you're in love with it, catch the knife, man. Jesus. Nothing but shit, shit, shit. Oh, extra shit. It's trash. I mean, yeah, I'm a, I'm a I'm a catch the knife kind of guy, but that is just so trash. Look at that. It's <laughs> ugh. I don't like anything about this one. Ugh. Sorry, I hope you don't own it. I uh, hope you were kind of messing with me. All right, find this next one. ATPM. Guess it has to be this. This is some niche shit right here, boys. Holy f... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what the... F okay. Did I write that wrong? It looks awesome. Go along. I don't even know what the hell this is. 10 ppm parts per million cargo. Like cargo ships versus low sulfur gas. What a weird... Some institution had this created for them. It's so weird. Yeah, so weird. Okay, this I don't think this was on purpose. All right, <laughs> I think I mistyped that one, so sorry. CHZ. We're gonna we're gonna assume it's the crypto. You should really like put the USDT or whatever for these guys because I'm not a shitcoin guy. Oh, yeah. Looks like it's working on a fifth, like just like almost everything else. It's crazy. It's crazy how quick things turn around, isn't it? Everybody's jubil having massive amounts of jubilee about the markets right now, but it does look like fifths are going in. So everybody's going to be sad. Sad, sad, sad. And they're going to think the world's ending when it's a 2B. Because contextually, you know, while on Bitcoin... It appears there's some context that could be a C uh, to this move to the upside, but all this other stuff, there's no context for it. So that gives you even more confidence. It probably wouldn't be a Bitcoin. The only other thing is that, of course, the um, oh, am I on the wrong? Damn, I've been just, I've been moving around on the wrong chart. 
crapping up the chart save. I didn't want to crap up. But anyway, um, yeah, the one thing that would get me is that it's diverging greatly after I did just say in a video that Bitcoin idea would not diverge greatly from the ES and they're di immediately diverging. So that's interesting. You know, it's one, it was one day. It was one day. Don't, no reason to overreact here too, but I would like to see, I would like to see that continue. I don't want them lockstep all the time. This is still the most important chart, but that's very interesting. So yeah, that was uh, a lot of assets. All right, um, 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, not sure how you guys are gonna like this one, but uh, maybe you can fast forward. Maybe I'll put in stamps if I can, if I feel like it. We'll see. Not not when the video first goes up, but uh, all right, boys. We'll see it. We'll see you next week, or we'll even Sunday for the market outlook, uh, depending on if it's me or Hove. That's gonna be on the at Transform Trading YouTube. So check that out. All right, boys, do it out.